I was wondering about the area around Mungo and uh, was wondering if it's possible to, to drive through that national park from coming from Hillston going up to um, Puncari. Yeah, it is closed, uh, what I'm seeing on the website. I know that's for like the average person, but I'm, I'm riding a motorcycle, an adventure motorcycle, and I'm a pretty confident rider. I, okay. I guess the question would be if I'm confident I've done quite a, I mean, I've done an outdoor riding course, an adventure course. Can I still get through on my motorcycle? Does it mean I can't, I can't stand next to the river? Does it mean I can't camp next to the river? Does it mean I can't try to cross the river? What the hell does it even mean to be a flood warning? It's not clear to me. Do you have any advice? Like if I have to get from A to B, okay? I can't not, I can't not land in Silverton. I've got to get there. What's happening in Silverton that, that nothing. is nothing? nothing. This okay, actually you have to go... It, but you have to, to go to Silverton for yeah. nothing. Is everything up? Look at my headlamp. Hold on. Put this on so I can see my cards. So I, I packed everything up. Hey, don't. See, because now you're looking at me and it's shining up. <laughs> yes, officer? What a nice strategy. <laughs> So, <laughs> I get my I'm not just gonna talk about our ethos here. I'm gonna fucking live it. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it for real. And I've heard so many people, oh, you can't do it. The parks are closed. I don't care what other people say. Like, I'm gonna just make it happen. I just want to review the video to say I didn't say that. Okay, keep going. Mm. This, no, that's, this is, for the people at home, this is usually where a rant starts, so I'll just leave some space for that. When they, when they say flood warning, uh, like, what, is that, what does that actually mean? I mean, because I'm thinking, oh, yeah, okay, there's a flood warning on, on the, whatever, the Murrum Budgie Ridge or whatever, fires. What the hell does that even mean? It means. I mean, but it like, means. It, does it mean I, can, I can't stand next to the river? Does it mean I can't camp next to the river? Does it mean I can't try to cross the river? What the hell does it even mean to be a flood warning? It's not clear to me. I mean, let's be honest. It's you take the motorcycle and you just ride from one side to the other. It's not what it's not. It's not. It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. No. Um, if it's if it's fordable, yeah, that's that's right. If it's not fordable, no, you got to go somewhere else. I've got one of those those tubes that the kids use at the beach, those floaty tube things. And what I would, don't laugh. No, here's no, what I was thinking. I, I, no, sorry. I was just coughing. What I was thinking is I can put that tube maybe under the back tire. And also I can stick a stick through the back rim and I can take mm. two dry bags, fill them up with air and I can hook the dry bags on the stick. It takes off a ton of weight. And then I can, for, I can forge across the river, almost even float the bike across the river. Well, already things have gone to shit. I'm about to leave. It's 10 to 12. I wanted to get out of here about 1 o'clock. I just checked the New South Wales National Parks and Wildlife Services. Everything's closed. Everything is closed. Every national park that I can find within like a 200-kilometer radius of where we wanted to go is closed. So I'm just checking the thing now. 393 alerts. Awesome. And then uh, go down to where, 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 where am I going? Mongo or something. No. Mongo. Closed. And the problem is... Closed until further notice. Everything's closed. So they're not Monday. So they're not even going to look at this until Monday. Well, guess what? We're already going to be out there. I don't know if I should just call off the trip. I've got a friend who's in who's got family in Broken Hill, and he said, "No, all the roads are closed. Anything from Hillston." Down to um, down to Mungo, it's closed. Everything's closed. 
well, what am I supposed to do? I mean, do we call off the trip? Do we, like, is that it? And I postpone it? I mean, if I, if I call off the trip, it goes against everything I stand for, everything I believe in. If you say you're going to do something, you do it. Who, care, who cares if it's hard? It's really frustrating. And the, the problem is, everybody's like, oh, well, move it for a couple weeks, move it for a month. No, it doesn't, life doesn't work like that. Two weeks go by, a month goes by, but it's never going to be like you think it's going to be, right? So there's going to be an issue with the bike. Someone's not going to be available for the ride. Some, something's going to happen. There's going to be some family issue, some work issue. We always want to put stuff off and put stuff off, thinking, oh, I can just go next time. I can go next week. No, you're not. You're never going to go next week. You either go now or you don't go at all. And I feel like, you know what? We should just go. I should just ride up to Leeton. I should just start the trip. If I get to a road that's closed, fine. I'll turn around. I'll go find another road. And I'll keep doing that until I get to where I want to go, which is Silverton or Broken Hill. And God damn it, I'm going to get there. If I say I'm going to get there, I'm going to get there. I'm going to call these people up. See what we can uh, find out. Uh, yeah, my first name's Mike. Yes, Mike. How can I assist you today? Yeah, I've just uh, I got a question for you. I, I see that there's quite a bit of flooding and road closures going on, and I, I was wondering about the area around Mungo, and uh, was wondering if it's possible to to drive through that national park from coming from Hillston going up to um, Punkari. Let me check it for you. Mungo National Park, is it? Yep. Have you tried uh, checking it on our website? Uh, yeah, it is closed, uh, what I'm seeing on the website. And under the local alerts, it shows the list of the locations which are closed. Yep. Almost 17 locations in this park have been affected. Now, I, I'm going to... I know that's for like the average person, but I'm, I'm riding a motorcycle, an adventure motorcycle, and I'm a pretty confident rider. I, I guess the question would be if I'm confident I've done quite a, I mean, I've done an outdoor riding course, an adventure course. Mm -hmm. Can I still get through on my motorcycle? I've done it, but I suggest you to check with the local office. They have better idea whether it's completely closed even for riding all right look no answer but i'll have to try again i mean but the point is i can't sit around i mean it's already midday uh i gotta be up to leeton at five o'clock it's a four-hour ride i need to get my gear packed i haven't loaded anything i was sitting here this morning thinking about whether or not i even want to do this i mean I, I rang up, uh, you know, Matt to see what his thoughts were. He'd done some training in Mungo, and uh, he said, look, it's not worth it. He said, there's no way. Um, but I just feel like, look, at this point, we got to have a crack. Like, I can't, I can't just sit and put this off and wait another month. I got all my gear ready, bike's ready to go, everybody's ready. Um, I think we just need to have a crack. Right, let's go have a look, see what we got. All right, here we go. So I think, man, it looks like a hell of a lot of stuff. I got clothes, just basically spats, socks and shirts. That's all that is. Food. Uh, what else? This is camping. I got some wet weather gear. Sleeping bag, tent, uh, mattress pad, my chair. My table, now look, I know a chair and a table doesn't seem like a big deal, but trust me, it's a big deal. Tarp, water, spare tube, front and rear, I could probably get by with one, but Anthony doesn't have any either, so that's that. A couple of lights, first aid kit, chain lube, repair kit, and I uh, got my coffee, my jet boil in there, a bit of coffee. So actually, I think I'm going pretty light. What else do I got? Tools, got tools there and tools in here. And so yeah, I got a 30, a 40 liter. I got a 40 liter duffel. And then I got, what are these, 35 liter? The Moscow Moto. Yeah, 35. So we'll see uh, how I go with that. 
two fuel cans on either side. Those are about 900 mil, so call it 3.6 liters. Water in the front, maybe. And I think that's, uh, that's it. So I'm gonna get this loaded up. I'm already leaving late, surprise. Anthony called and left a message and said the road from Wagga to Leeton is closed. Surprise, so now I gotta figure out another way around. Um, anyway, well, whatever, you know, that's the trip, isn't it? So yeah, load it up, let's hit the road. All right, that's it, we're out of here. Just it, just uh, put air in the tires, load it up. 346 Ks to Leeton, baby, let's do it. I just had to pull over. We're in for some nasty weather. I'm gonna zip up my jacket and uh, change out the um, casing on the GoPro. I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, that's where we're headed. And the wind is blowing like crazy. I'm just getting blown all over the road. I mean, it said something like 35 mile an hour gusts. I'll tell ya. It's been a lot more than 35 miles an hour. I'm getting blown everywhere. Anyway, I gotta suit up. Just ran out of gas. I did 360 Ks on the tank. I still got 26 Ks to go. I think I, I just clicked it into reserve. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it fully out of gas, just so I can see what kind of range I've got. So 360, I got a 25 liter tank. Anyway, let's go. All right, just got to uh, Anthony's house. Big Chocolate Dragon. Oh yeah, that's that TV. Hooking up that. There we go. Look at that bike. Uh -huh. Ready, ready to go. And you got your gear. This is all you need right here. Yep, that's all I'm taking. Just the, uh, just the petrol can. Are you ready uh, to go right now? Yeah. I mean, no, no. Well, not look ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Got the slip-ons and. Is that a uh, is it Mozzie? Mozzie thing. Yeah. Mozzie. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Works. Fairly well, I think, other than the fact that I just got bit. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, there are a go lot of mozzies. Okay, well, I'm going to take my tent down and set my tent up inside the chook pen. Well, apparently that light's not working anymore. 
Cool. Well, it's enough light to set. Oh, no, yeah. there we go. Yeah, I want to set it up over there anyway. It's fine. Cool. A little bit of gear. Yep, well, we just gotta fit my bag on top here. And, yeah, the, well. Uh, I figure if we put mine, we could probably strap mine right here. I think what they say is if you, like, go ahead and hop on. You double the height yeah, of that's, yourself. Yeah, that's what I was gonna that say. stabilize you, right? Oh, my helmet's in the yeah, way. I mean, let me just have a look. Yeah, go ahead and hop on. Okay, yep. Uh, how do you get on these? You gotta, you gotta do cowboy style. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, it, it's like you got the back rest, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, that's a well, I, that's how I ride. I actually cross my feet over the front of the tank. Yeah, but I, no. So I reckon I, we can probably go up another, at least another like, yeah, easy another duffel bag or two. Where's this? Where's this clip to? Oh, two little clips oh, okay. in the front. Okay. Yeah. Um. This is this is ooh. it's a little bit tight, huh? No, oh, this is cozy. Oh, it's cozy. Yeah, this is nice. Well, <laughs> you get you cuddled up. You know what I mean? You may not think it's cozy when you've been sitting like that for twelve hours. But I'm um, God, you, you got a lot I packed of everything up. Look at headlamp. Hold on, <laughs> put this on so I can see my cards. So I, I packed everything you up. Don't see because now you're looking at me and it's shining up. <laughs> Yes, officer. <laughs> what <of> my strategy? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> should I get my headlamp? <laughs> I get my mine's right there. We can just. Oh boy. Anyway, so look. Check it on back to the original re razor. I don't. I don't think he's gonna check raise me on this. So, because I don't think he has anything. Well, I do. So I'm gonna fire in. I, I want a call. I'm gonna make that. Make that's that three. That's three, 350 to call. 350. What's the pot though? I mean, just out of curiosity, what is it? See, what are my odds getting at? Like right now, if I, you know what I mean? Hmm. Huh. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we, we, I mean, we, you, you over pot? Under pot. Was severely under pot. Yeah, about actually. half pot. Severely under. About half pot. Half pot. It's a easy. It's a snap call for you. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make it twelve. <laughs> Fucking bitch. So, uh, I look at I gave I had given you one blue and it's just I mean it wants it wants to come home. The blue wants to come home. So why don't you go and put that blue you, in it? Did you think that you were gonna that I was gonna bet into you right now? You thought you were gonna check and I was gonna bet and then you were gonna just have an instant check raise on me? Yeah, oh no, that's exactly what was happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and then I'm hoping that you ship over the top because I'm about to. Sh well, that's, that's it. I'm that's about exactly to what I wanted. And I put it just enough that if you called it, it yep. left you in a position that you didn't want to be in. Yep. So your choices now are ship or go home. Ship or sail. Ship or sail. <laughs> <laughs> you going? You going to ship or sail today? Uh, ship or sail, bud. But that, I mean, you work through your work through your process. Just follow the best hand, bitch. What, what was the other car, dude? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is your game. Yeah, I'm on the board, bitch. Yeah, dude. Where guess you? what, son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you caught that on the river. You yeah. shouldn't have even been in the That's hand. That's a turn, by the way. Oh, sorry, turn. That's called a turn. You should, you should not have been in. That's called a turn. That was ten, have been ten six in suited. That hand. Ten six suited. I had two pair. <laughs> I never don't have it. Alright, well I'm gonna go cash I've this in. <laughs> I am now done with poker. What's the last time you saw me play poker without sleeves? I always <laughs> gotta make <laughs> And I'm out. What do I what do I collect by winning? <laughs> this is, okay. this is just a home game, it's just a friendly home game. Right, and where do I get paid at? <laughs> I need to see the cashier, young man. <laughs> Gonna need that money. <laughs> Yeah, but remember, remember at the beginning, I was like, hey, man, we should have some friendly cards. <laughs> I need to see the cashier. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that cut this time, because let's...
just make sure it's cut properly. <laughs> and I'll Wait till you watch the video and see what I have when I beat you. It's gonna be real fun. Sleeping in a tent makes you appreciate not sleeping in a tent. I know one thing that happens when you sleep in a tent. What? You wake up in a tent. You wake up in a tent? Or you wake up dead. <laughs> well, none of that's, I'm that's all, not true though. That's what it means to be in hard and aided. Huh. Get hard on the land. And stay hard on the I land. Go, I get on the land, I get hard on the land, I stay hard on the land. I gotta try and get some wine out there. So we're gonna head up to Hillston. We're gonna turn off here. I think we need to check with the locals at this point, but we'll check with the locals here at Hillston. And then we're gonna follow this track around. We don't have any bookings. So we don't have any hotel accommodation that we've got to meet. We don't know where we're going. We literally do not know where we're going. And we don't know how long it's gonna to take to get there. We don't know what the road conditions are. I think if you're gonna, if you're gonna ride like this, you gotta have a high tolerance for ambiguity. I've already peed, I just have to go change my underwear. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I'll just, I'm just going to wait for him to change, <laughs> to change his underwear. There he goes. There he goes. Go ahead. No, just tag him. It, it, well, it's weird when... Tag him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, boy, he's getting into it. <laughs> he's getting into it. <laughs> Come on, get, get into it. Mm. Get into it. <laughs> I don't know what's weird about it. How weird it is for how weird it is for other people. Yeah, so you know what's gonna be funny is that one of the locals just walked by, he's like, oh there's a what did he say? How many feet? He said, watch out for the water, it's deep. Yeah, he just said, Oh, watch out right up here, the water's deep. So what's gonna be really 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 fucking hilarious is when we've just driven all this way, we're now in Hillston and we turn off the dirt road. We drive 10 feet down the fucking dirt road and the road's closed and we can't go anymore. And then it's the end of the trip. Great. And when I say funny, I mean, it's not gonna be funny at all. I think in, in about four and a half minutes, you and I are gonna be picking one or both of these bikes up out of the mud. 